All right, a little bit of breaking news. Tyson Fury tests positive for COVID, which means the fight is not going to happen until early October is what they're projecting at the moment. Other people in this camp to catch it was trainer Andy Lee, Joseph Parker, among others. So how do I look at this? Before I get into it, hit the thumbs up, sub, and hit the notification bell. And don't forget, without hitting the notification bell, you'll never get updated when I drop the newest content like this. With that being said, let's get into the video. So here's the thing about it. I'm not going to say that this is not true because it very well could be true. What I'm going to say is this. Whether it is true or not true with Tyson Fury catching COVID, the only thing that this does is a confident boost to Deontay Wilder. It gives him more confidence going into this third fight and more time to train on his new techniques that it looks like Malik Scott is trying to implement with him. So basically what I'm trying to say is this. The longer this fight takes to make, the longer that it takes for them to get in the ring is going to be a lot more beneficial to Deontay Wilder. Because the thing about it is this. Tyson Fury is already a complete package. With Tyson Fury, he's only making minor improvements, minor tweaks here and there to be better. Deontay Wilder is an incomplete package who is trying to be completed. He is a puzzle that has not yet been put together, and every day that goes by, an extra piece gets put in to make that puzzle complete. And that is the issue. When you've got a guy who had limited, limited boxing ability, boxing skills, who has what appears to be knockout power, and I say appears because we haven't seen him there with a whole lot of top tier fighters. So chins change when you go up in ranking, but what appears to be knockout power, if you give somebody like Deontay Wilder the ability to be a good technical boxer, now you have a dangerous fighter. And every second, every moment that goes by, that is what Team Fury is doing. They're allowing him to become more and more complete more and more dangerous because I will say this. The mitts do not hit back, nor does a bag. The weights that you lift does not always implement you being good in the ring. But what it does do is it does improve you. And eventually, what you do on the mitts, short term, turns into long term. Once it turns into long term, it turns into muscle memory. Once it turns into muscle memory, it's second nature inside of the ring. And when Deontay Wilder develops his technical skills that he's working on is second nature, that's when the problems start for Tyson Fury. And that is exactly what he's given him time to develop. Now, again, I will say this. My best wishes go out to him for a quick recovery because if this is true, and every single person in this camp that caught it, if this is true... I hope that they get better, and then I would like to see this fight happen when he is healthy. Don't want him to rush into something while he's sick. Don't want to see the man get hurt. So I want to see him get healthy. I want to see him get better. The only point of this middle part of the video was to say that this is very beneficial to Deontay Water because the more time you give a guy who's incomplete to get completed is the more time he has to be ready for you and the more dangerous he becomes. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I want to say again, my best wishes go out to Tyson Fury, his entire team, and I hope all of y'all get better.